to decide that the things that I tried were in my life just to get high on. When I sit alone, come get a little known, but I need more than myself this time. Step from the road to the sea to the sky, and I do believe that we rely on. When I lay it on, come get to play it on all my life to sacrifice. Hey yo, listen what I say. Oh. All right, we've prepped our brush. We've picked up a bead of polymer, and now we're placing it on the nail. And we, uh, the goal is to place as thin of a layer of polymer that where you get full coverage of color, but you're using the least amount of product possible. So here I'm making sure that my color goes to the very end of the shape that I want to create. Here we're creating a slight coffin, so I want to make sure that my red is laid in that entire coffin shape. On the second nail, this is a different technique uh, to accomplish the same goal. We are going to lay a layer of clear before our thin layer of polymer. Still trying to conserve as much colored polymer as possible, but our layer of clear will be our foundation. This technique is good for clients that like to have a new look every time they visit you, um, but the benefit would be you don't have to do a full new set each time. You could file down to that layer of clear and then work from there. Just fill and add a different colored polymer at that time. While my layer of clear polymerizes on my second finger, I'm going back to my first finger and capping my color in clear. So I'm using my clear to build my structure and protect that layer of color. So when I go to do my filing routine, I'm never filing into my color. So 